How you doing? Can I get a medium iced coffee with cream and sugar, cold brew? Thank you, guys. Um, a glazed donut. Okay. And an order of hash browns. Have a good day. So it is 8 a.m. on a Saturday right now. We're in the drive-thru to go get some food and some coffee. But today is a very special day because it is the last big session to my leg sleeve. Which is absolutely crazy to think about because we got done this leg sleeve in, in a span of like four months. Like fully done from, from top to bottom, which is insane. I say this is the last big session because this is the last piece that I'm gonna be getting. It's gonna be on the back of the thigh. So we have that part. And Matt said that there is some things that he wants to just go over and that, you know, he wants to add more detail in, which is always a good thing. But yeah, today is gonna be the last big tattoo session. Um, we're gonna be going for probably around 12 hours. So this should be fun. I just wanna take a quick second to say thank you to everybody that has watched these tattoo vlogs and has been along with this whole leg sleeve journey. You don't know how much it means to me and I just appreciate it so much. Never gets old seeing a bomb tattoo bomb in this shop. What's up, Matt? Yo, what's going on, buddy? How's everything? Good. As Matt starts to set up the whole area, I cannot help but think to myself that I don't really want to get tattooed today. I literally been in the chair getting this leg done like every two weeks and my body is just worn down. I don't know how this is going to feel. Matt's finishing some things up with the stencil and adding a little bit more detail into it, but we're going to be getting to this thing very soon. Now this piece that you see right here was not actually supposed to be in the original leg sleeve design. Matt came up with it and I fell in love with it right from the start. So I'm super excited to get this on my body and to just cap off the leg sleeve. All right, now with the design complete, it's time to test out the placement. Is that a, like a real big spot back there too? Yeah, it's a good sized spot. <laughs> As you can see on my face, I did not want to hear that. Yes, it's, it's a good size. Cool. All right, stencils on. I didn't get it on film, but I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right. Over here, this is a weird shot, but it's on and we're about to get started. Now with the tattoo needles, ink, and everything all ready, I'm laying down and we're just jumping right into it, so let's go. And listen, I had to lay a weird way for this whole tattoo, so don't mind the cake. Now the reason why this tattoo is going to take a while is because there's a lot of little details throughout the whole piece to give it that realistic newspaper look. And as you can see, I think being under the tattoo needle so frequently has made me lose my mind. Taking a small little break for a second, Matt had to go talk to his apprentice about something. But I gotta say, back of the thigh, not too bad. Like, really not bad at all. But the piece, it's coming out friggin' awesome. Look at this thing. Now, I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but as he was tattooing the upper inner thigh, I literally felt like my crotch was getting tattooed. It was excruciating. It wasn't fun at all. As you can see right here, I look like I'm sleeping, but I'm actually just trying to stay calm. Here we are at hour six, and I think you could tell how I'm feeling based off of my facial expressions. So we're taking a quick lunch break right now. Lexi came to the tattoo shop. Say hi, Lexi. Hi. Don't ignore the camera. And um, so there's this place in Philadelphia called Assad's Hot Chicken. It went viral on TikTok and it's it's awesome. And I've been hyping it up the mat for like the past like two weeks. So we're gonna try it for the first time. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so take a look at this. 
Yeah, oh my lord. And we're right back to it. Now usually food helps me out during a tattoo session, but I think here we are at hour eight. And as you can see on my face, I was really given in here. I was, I cannot explain to you how bad this area hurt after hour eight. But thankfully the main piece was done. However, we're not done tattooing yet. So we just got done the main serious piece, but we still have a little bit more time to fill in some blank space areas. So we're about to be doing that right now. Don't ask me how I had enough energy to pursue this, but I just want to get this leg sleeve done. At hour 10, I was doing everything I could to hold it together because we were almost done the leg sleeve. And if I left at the time, I would have had to come back for like an hour. And to me, I feel like that's just a waste. So I'm gonna just push through it. Fucking last bit of skin is taking me through the ringer. <laughs> God damn, that fucking, the knee sucks. So bad. Yeah, I think I'm putting the knee at number one for the most pain I've ever felt getting tattooed. Done. I'm gonna put some glue right there. Okay. But anyway, Matt's packing in some more blues to really make this leg sleep pop, and then we are done. We done? For today, yeah. Cool. All right, we are done. The sleeve overall looks sick, and it's actually daytime out, which is crazy. But let's get home and I'll see what's going on with the sleeve. Man, oh, it's hard to sit because I got my friggin' pretty much ass tattooed. This sleeve is this sleeve is so fucking awesome looking, man. As a Harry Potter fan and as a tattoo fan, I couldn't ask for a better sleeve. Matt killed it. He did say that we have one more small, like four hour day session where he wants to just do a once over of every character and just look for spots. That might need a little bit of a touch up, but he said overall the sleeve healed up perfectly, but there is some things that he wants to change up. But uh, let's get home and I'll show you what the sleeve and what this piece looks like, cause it's sick. All right, we are home and it's about a week later. I was so tired and exhausted after that tattoo session that I didn't even want to record and then I forgot to record this part. But anyway, you get to see it healed as well, so that's a plus. What do you think of my new tattoo? Let's take a look at it. What do you think about my new tattoo? Leave a comment below, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe.